Welcome to Smart Accounting. Let's walk through adding a vendor. First, click Maintenance, and above, click Vendors. The Vendor Maintenance screen will appear. Notice the areas highlighted in red. These fields are mandatory when entering a vendor. When you enter the first and last name, it also populates below under Payee Name. Enter the vendor's Social Security number or Tax ID. Also, enter the business type. Complete the company information, including address, city, state, and zip code. To the right of the screen, you'll see a section called Tax Code Information. Under Tax Code Information, enter the default code. There are two boxes next to the default code field, Required and Warning. Checking the Required box means you must enter a tax code when saving a purchase order or invoice. You'll receive a pop-up error message informing you that this vendor entry cannot be saved without a default tax code. When checking the Warning box, you'll receive a pop-up asking if you're sure you want to save the vendor entry without a tax code. You can only select one field for notification. Enter a date for W-9 information. W-9s don't expire, but you can enter a date that would be significant to you for auditing purposes, or if there's a specific date when W-9s are verified. Next, select the state in the default work region. If the vendor accepts wire transfers or ACH payments, check the ePayment button and under ACH information, enter the vendor's banking information, including account type, routing or branch code, and ACH account number. After you've verified the information for accuracy, hit F6 or click the disk icon at the top of your screen to save the information. And that's entering a vendor in Smart Accounting. Thanks for watching.